Richard Weinberg was a three-sport athlete at Arthur Hill High School, participating in football, basketball, and track. It was an injury that brought him into the pool. He was hurt pole vaulting. He hurt his back pole vaulting. So uh, the doctor said, well, maybe you should start swimming and help, help your back. That got him into swimming. But uh, he talked to the school, and they got a coach. Um, Dave Ganey talked him into coaching, and they actually started the program themselves. The swimmers did. That's a neat story. Arthur Hill didn't have a pool back then, and the local Y was hardly Olympic sized. When you swam, let's say, a 100 yard freestyle or any, any event, you did it in two heats. Like, uh, it was an agreement that uh, the, the, the slowest two guys on our team, we would compete in heat one, and then the two fastest guys would compete in heat two. And then from there, you put the times together. Weinberg would set a state record in his junior year, winning the state championships in the 50 and 100 yard freestyle in 1944. He repeated his wins the next year, giving the Hillites back to back championships. He was named All American as the number one swimmer in the country. His fans back home elevated him even higher. That was, that was like uh, meeting God, I mean, because everybody uh, knew Dick Weinberg or knew of his, his record. And, He's uh, Mr. Swimming in Saginaw. Uh, he, uh, he, he did it all. State champ, state record holder, uh, then went on to U of M and joined their very wonderful teams they had down there under Matt Mann. And uh, he uh, fit right in. He was the freestyler they needed. and uh, The relays became uh, uh, world champion relays, world record holder relays. He's national champion, Big Ten champion. He did it all. You could really spend an awful lot of time just talking about uh, uh, the things he won. The numbers he was putting up are just phenomenal. And uh, the times he was putting up qualified him for the Olympics, but he was ill that year, could not make the, the Olympic uh, the trials. He wasn't 100%, didn't make it. It was a muscle, muscle problem. They did their training up at... Uh, uh, Matt Mann's outdoor camp in, in, in Canada and then they came to uh, the warmer water and uh, he got hit by cramps that just uh, fit, took him right out of the money but that would have been great to have uh, Arthur Hill would have then had two uh, Olympic members in 48 which is something that uh, uh, not very many teams schools could do. Weinberg helped set a world record in the 300-yard relay and was crowned Big Nine and NCAA 50-yard freestyle champion. He earned four varsity letters at Michigan and made the All-America team three times. He retired from swimming after placing second in the 100 freestyle at the National AAU Championship in 1950. He wound up in California and he was so well liked he ended up being mayor of the city he lived in. He's just an exceptional person, not only in the pool, but in his life. 